What if I told you that the next huge tech revolution isn't coming from Apple or Microsoft, but from the one company that, well, now pretty much powers them all? Yeah, we got to dive into this because the entire tech world is buzzing about a seriously audacious plan from a newly crowned king. I mean, really think about that for a second. We're talking about a massive tectonic shift here. This is a rumor that's gone from just quiet whispers in Silicon Valley to like front page reports. The whole idea is that NVIDIA, yeah, the most valuable company on the planet, is gearing up to make a move that could completely change that phone you've got in your pocket right now. Okay, so you're probably wondering, how is this even possible? To get that, we really need to wrap our heads around the sheer scale of NVIDIA's power. This isn't just, you know, another tech company. We've watched them transform from a graphics card maker into an absolute global powerhouse in just a couple of years. It's wild. Just let this number sink in for a minute. Over $3 trillion. That's, that's bigger than Apple. Bigger than Microsoft. Bigger than the giant oil companies. And you have to understand, this isn't just money. It's a war chest. It gives them the resources, the sheer firepower, to walk into any industry they want and just completely shake things up. You know, their influence has become so massive, so market-shaping, that analysts have actually come up with a name for it. They're calling it the Huang Effect. And what that really means is we're in a new era where one company, and really one leader, can basically dictate the rules for the entire market. It's pretty incredible. All right, so now that we've established just how powerful this company is, let's get back to that audacious rumor. Because what started as just some quiet chatter among engineers is now being reported by major outlets. The idea of an NVIDIA phone. Yeah, it's suddenly feeling very, very real. And look, this isn't just pure speculation anymore. We've got Bloomberg and Nikkei Aja reporting that the infrastructure is actually being prepared. We've got analyst firms pointing to mobile OS teams being formed. There's even a potential start date being thrown around for internal work to begin, 2026. The evidence is definitely piling up. And inside the company? Well, according to sources, they're not looking at this as just another product launch. Not at all. They see it as a potential second iPhone moment. I mean, think about that. A leap so big, it could redefine the entire industry. Just like Apple did all the way back in 2007. So what would this thing actually be? Well, the core idea revolves around something called an AI native phone. And listen, this isn't just some yearly upgrade we're talking about. This is a fundamental reinvention of what we even think a smartphone is for. Think about your phone right now. It has AI features, right? Like portrait mode or maybe a voice assistant. But those things mostly need the cloud to work. The rumored Neo phone is totally different. It would be an AI at its very core. It would run these powerful AI models completely offline. The design would shift from being all about apps to being all about intelligence. It's really the difference between a tool you use and a companion that actually understands you. There's this saying, kind of a joke, making the rounds in the industry that just captures this whole idea perfectly. It's not a phone with artificial intelligence, but an artificial intelligence that can make calls, right? That one line just completely flips the entire concept on its head. And this is the huge technological breakthrough. We're talking about the ability to run these massive, complex AI models, like the stuff that powers GPT, directly on the device. Totally offline, no internet connection needed. This would be a total game changer. I mean, it would be 100 times faster. And since nothing's going to the cloud, it's way more private and secure. Now, of course, the real challenge, the real mountain to climb for the engineers, is figuring out how to do all that without your battery dying in, like, five minutes. Okay, so that's the what, a revolutionary AI device. Now let's talk about the how. How does NVIDIA actually plan to win? Well, their strategy looks like a brilliant and honestly pretty brutal two-pronged attack. Inside the company, they're apparently calling this strategy the democratization of superpower. Yeah, it sounds a little grand, I know. But what it boils down to is something simple and incredibly aggressive. Give this unbelievable AI power to the masses and do it at a price that's just too good to pass up. And apparently, this all comes down to two very strict requirements from the CEO, Jensen Huang, himself. Number one, the device has to be way more powerful than anything the competition has. We're talking next-gen chips, something that makes today's phones look ancient. And number two, it has to be cheaper than the premium phones from Apple and Samsung. Overwhelm with power and undercut on price. It's a devastatingly simple plan. 
So this gives you a picture of just how disruptive this could be. Because of those colossal profits from their main GPU business, NVIDIA can actually afford to sell this phone at a lower price, maybe even at a loss initially, just to start a price war. Think about that. They could enter the market with a product that's not just better, but also cheaper. That is a massive threat that Apple and Samsung have to be taking very, very seriously. And they've got a couple of ways to pull this off. Path one, they could just do it all themselves, a fully NVIDIA-branded phone. Or path two, they could partner up with an existing manufacturer. Names like Oppo, Vivo, and Xiaomi get thrown around a lot. But no matter which path they choose, the core goal is exactly the same. Come in cheaper than Apple and Samsung. So let's zoom out for a second. What does all this mean for us, for the future? This is so much bigger than just a new gadget. If these rumors pan out, we could literally be standing on the verge of a whole new era of personal tech. What this really means is that we could be entering what people are calling the post-smartphone era, a future where the main job of that thing in your pocket isn't just making calls or sending texts anymore. Its main job becomes intelligent, autonomous assistance. You know, a real digital sidekick. And this quote from Jensen Huang himself really gets to the heart of it all. The ultimate goal here isn't to create just another device. It's to create an extension of personality. Imagine a truly autonomous AI companion that just gets you. It understands your context, your habits, your entire lifestyle. So here's the final thought. If NVIDIA actually pulls this off, the device in your pocket might stop being just a phone and start becoming something way more profound, a true digital twin, running all on its own, learning and adapting to you every single second. And that, well, that changes absolutely everything.